I am super excited. I am super excited that after that, what I felt like strong word, God would just just download really quickly a quick word of exhortation. And as I was spending time with God and I was worshiping, I kept hearing over and over and over what the children of Israel said when they said, you know, when I'm sorry. Okay, let me let me stop. Let me calm down. What I was hearing was Moses say to the children of Israel as they prepared to cross the Red Sea, Red Sea, stand still. Oh, y'all forgive me. Help me, Jesus. Help me. What I saw, what I heard over and over and over again was the words of Moses to the children of Israel to stand firm and see the deliverance the Lord will bring about for you today. And the Egyptians, which related to bondage that you see today, you will see no more, right? So God was talking to me about, you know, deliverance from bondage, deliverance from bondage. And I was praying and I was hearing God say to me, the floodgates, the floodgates, the floodgates. I heard specifically God say, after this, the floodgates will open. After this, the floodgates will, will open. And I know God was talking about, you know, what's going on with this virus. And I heard God say, and I heard God say, for those of us that when it gets the grain in this season, right, in this hour, for those of us that sowed in this season, for those of us that had joy in this season, for those of us that walked in obedience in this season, for those of us that worshiped in this season, for those of us that believed God in this season, for the, those of us that did not give into the fear and the panic and the suggestion and the suggestion for those of us that did not give into the suggestion of the world for those of us that did not give into the suggestion let me tell you something right the enemy has not had the power to even deceive he could have only suggested and it's not just about this but there's so much and i'm telling you the things that the enemy suggested to you before he shall not be able to suggest anymore listen Pharaoh coming up on the children of Israel, it was just a suggestion. He was never going to reach them. He was never going to reach them. The Bible says right as they were crossing the Red Sea that they looked up and they saw Pharaoh and they panicked. They were in terror, but he never, there was never a chance that he was going to catch them. Never a chance that he was going to catch them. So listen, in this hour, right, even the enemy's ability to suggest something to, to us, suggest that you're going to get the virus, suggest that you're going to die, suggest that something is going to happen to you. Listen, even that we speak death to it in the name of Jesus. We speak death to it in the name of Jesus. And what God is saying is, I'm telling you, after this, I heard the Holy Ghost say, after this, the floodgates will open. After this, children, the floodgates will open. And for those of us that were willing and obedient, we shall eat the good of the land. We shall eat the good of the land. For those of us that sowed in this season, for those of us that worshiped in this season, for those of us that had joy in this season, for those of us that were willing and obedient in this season, this is a quick word of exhortation. God came here and told me to tell y'all that we shall eat the good of the land. We shall eat the good of the land. We shall eat the good of the land. I'm telling you, for those of us that went against the grain, for those of us that went against the grain when the whole world was in an uproar, for those of us that went against the grain, after this, the floodgates will open and we shall eat the good of the land.